Hell yeah. Yo, Cuss by Reggie, back with another video, quick review. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. Dislike the videos, like the videos, uh, comment, share, all the good stuff, right? So in the barber world, I know a lot of people have been against enhancements. A lot of people like enhancements. I'm more in the middle. I think once you can do a decent hairline, decent cut, good cut, good hairline, if the client want enhancements, I don't think it's a problem. Uh, it can be a problem if it's overused, um, if it start really looking crazy sometimes, or if you're a new barber um, and you go straight into trying to use enhancements because that's what you see online most of the times, right? That's when I think it's a problem. But if your client wants it, you can do it. They come back to you for it. I don't think it's a problem. With that being said, I think I have found one of the best airbrush compressors that I have used in a while. All right. I've tried different ones. I have the uh, airbrush compressor on my station. I've used the Tune 45. I used plenty from Amazon and different websites. Uh, shout out to my guy at JV Pro. This is one of my favorites. Now, I've already talked about this one. But this is one of my favorites that I've used in a while as well. But, and y'all probably seen this uh, floating through your Instagram feeds and all that good stuff. This is the X model coolest airbrush compressor from Zay's Barber Supply. What it come with, USB cable, uh, adapter, and the airbrush, right? Excuse me. The airbrush don't really come with much, right? Uh, so yeah, let's talk about it. So this is this is the only problem that I have with it, right? Now I haven't had this problem because it hasn't died. Let me not tell you why is it, why it hasn't died in a minute, right? But can y'all see that charge time? Eight hours for fifty minutes of continuous run time. I know it's an airbrush. You're not gonna be spraying it continuously, so it will last. Doing a full head of uh, enhancements, depending on how you do it, whatever, it's gonna take you two minutes, right? So yes, you're not gonna go the full, <laughs> the full 50 minutes continuously. But eight hours for 50 minutes of run time. But neither here nor there, right? So, that's what it looked like. I'm pretty sure you have seen it before on your um, Instagram feed. Other barbers have used it. 20 PSI, that's the pressure that comes from the blah, 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 right? Here it is. And I still got a little paint. I just did a cut. So it's a little bit in here. Make sure y'all clean that out. Uh, especially at the end of the day, if you forget a little bit in it, make sure you clean it out. That will clog it up if you just keep it sitting in there. Not just this one, but any one, right? But anyway. This is the machine. This is the X model from Zay's Barber Supply. All right, I've been using it maybe a week or so. Uh, a couple of things I do like about it. I like the smaller cups, this, that's just what I'm used to. Like this one comes with two different sizes. This is from J, uh, JV uh, Pro. It comes with two different, it comes with this one, then it comes with one like this one, right? So, this one comes with one, comes with the however size. I don't know what size it is. It says it's somewhere in there. But anyway, I do like this because of the build that they chose, right? It's different. It's not the same airbrush that you, it, even if it is cheaply made or made from a factory that used this blah, blah, blah. It doesn't look, it doesn't give off the same presentation as other airbrush compressors will give off, right? So I do like that they chose this design. The only thing with this one, I'm pretty sure it comes from here. You can take it up. I haven't had the opportunity. I haven't had to take it apart. So I don't know. I'm used to taking these apart and cleaning the inside. I don't know how this operates, right? And taking it apart and putting it back together. But this has been one of the smoothest, one of the, the most precise 
airbrush compressors that I have airbrush compressors that I have used, right? Um, it's very lightweight. So a lot of people, when they when they see it, they say it look bulky or whatever, but it's not, right? By the way that you hold it, the power button is here, sprays out there. Let me see if y'all, can y'all see that? Put it behind the, y'all see that? I try to put it, why did I put it behind something white? That makes no sense. There you go. You see that smooth, it comes out. It, it's like a lot comes out, but it's not too much. And it's not a lot of pressure. It's like the right amount of pressure. So it's not spraying out too much, where it's caking the paint on, or it's putting too much black on or brown, whichever one you're using. This comes in a package. So when you buy this, I think it's like 160. It comes with the, the compressor. It comes with uh, one of their color cards, which there's so many designs. That's the Pivot. That's JV Pro. And that's 245. There's a lot of different color cards. And it also comes with one of their colors. Comes with the, the black. But it, it also comes with a charging dock, right? And the one reason I like this charging dot because no matter which way you put it on, it will charge, right? Let me see if I could. Let's see if I can get it. I don't know if this cord is long enough. Yeah, it should be, all right? No matter which way you put it on, it's gonna charge. I like that. Like you're not you're not having to connect anything to make sure that you put it on correct. You just set it down and it's gonna charge. That's where that eight hours of uh, charge time doesn't matter for 50 minutes of runtime. But it doesn't matter because soon as you're done spraying, you're just setting it down. All right. So you're not having to worry about. You see this? There's no there's no extra con extra connections. You don't have to. Plug this is this is a charge to the charge dock already sitting on your station. You just set it down, right? So I like that. But as far as the use, man, this is one of the smooth. Like I said, it's the smoothest airbrush compressors that I have used. I don't really even know how to review different airbrush compressors. I reviewed them before, but this is more or less just saying. Go buy this, go try it out. You're gonna love it. Um, I think it's 160, 169, somewhere around there. Kind of pricey. So far, I have not had a problem with it clogging, not spraying or anything like that. So now, how will it be in the future? I don't know, we're not there. We just gotta go through the process. But as of right now, definitely, Try the Zay's Barber Supply X model uh, compressor out. Buy the package. It's going to come with everything that you need, a color, uh, uh, enhancement card, all that good stuff, right? So that's my opinion on this compressor. I know a lot of people, I don't know a lot of people have seen it, but I know I used to see it all the time scrolling through Facebook or scrolling through Instagram. Uh, an ad will pop up for this. So I was like, I don't see anybody talking about it. I've seen people use it, but I haven't seen anybody say if it's good or not. So me being me, I said, forget it. Let me buy it so I can use it. And therefore y'all can either save money or spend money. And on this one, I say, spend some money. All right, that's my opinion. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe, comment, like, share, all the good stuff that comes along with being on this beautiful platform. And I'll be back with another video very soon. Peace.